beautiful people. and beautiful people welcome to my channel in the no tarot 1122 all right general reading for aquarius all right aquarius we're going to see who's coming towards you in august and what their intentions are okay all right as you know this will not resonate with everyone so take what fits and leave the rest feel free to check your other signs in your chart once they're posted I think I only have Capricorn to do, so everybody else is just posted. All right, if you like my vibe, how I get on with my readings, please hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe, okay? All right, and forgive me, it's early. <laughs> All right, who's coming towards Aquarius? Okay. Interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, look. You have somebody coming towards you. This could be actually um, any water sign, literally. This could be Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... You have somebody coming towards you that uh, sees you as wish fulfillment, the star. There's something that happened between you guys that uh, this person wants to repair. They want to fix. They're trying to bring it together. <laughs> this person sees you. Uh, actually, some, some of you may be working on your money right now. So financially stable. This person sees you as marriage material. You may be this person's wife, but in separation. There is a connection with this person. Like I said, this person is making some type of move. Yeah, there's a burden here. This person wants to release this burden. They're trying to figure out how to balance this situation. Something happened between you guys. Like I said, this person can't get over whatever happened. They see you as a star. They want to heal it. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Look, very passionate about you. This person has been watching you for a while. Oh, you got a couple of people watching. Maybe this is why this person wants to come back. Maybe they see somebody else seeing you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, is that what that is? Okay, I see. Huh. All right, so somebody sees somebody else stepping in towards you. A, a king. Hmm. Very, very interesting indeed. Let's see, what else? Who else is coming towards Aquarius? All right, there's some competition here. Okay. Leo, Aries, Sag. All right. Somebody is no longer... Okay, look, if you were dealing with somebody that was acting like um, flighty, wishy-washy, in and out, fucking around with, excuse me, messing around with a lot of people or whatever. This person sees somebody else either at their status or above what they're bringing. Somebody's seeing a king step up to you and this person is deciding to try to step up their game. And come back. There's competition here. This person is no longer. If there was any type of indecision. Whether they were going to walk away. Come back or whatever. You know. This person is no longer. Um, confused. Undecided what they want to do. They want to come back towards you. And offer you some type of commitment. 
The problem is, is that they cause some type of heartbreak, pain in your life. And also, this person is heartbroken watching you possibly moving on to someone else. Yes, this person has a lot of love for you. They're holding on to you for dear life. Hold on, what's going on? What else? For Aquarius. Juggling, trying to decide how to balance this out, how to bring it together. After an ending here, there was an ending. This person is trying to rebirth, transform this into some type of commitment. Oh. Give me one more. Mm -hmm. What did I say? This is what this person wants. The end goal. They're trying to bring this together. Yep, and they want everybody to see that you are their person. Yep, this person is trying to bring this back together. They know that there's competition in the way. Somebody else that might have a lot of love for you. Uh-huh, and then this person wants to come in with some type of apology. This person wants to come in with some type of apology and repair this. That's what they want to do, really. Who do I want to grab? Let's see. I'll do my tarot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll just start here. I'll just start here. person like I told you they want to balance this out they want to heal this situation this person feels like you're divinely guided to them their intuition is telling them to come back around heal this situation make it right so somebody's about to take this leap towards you because like I said this person feels like the divine is telling them move forward make it right balance it out you know this is what you want. You got three cards of balance here. Huh, really? Somebody can't get over the past. Like I said, there's five of cups under there. This person knows that you're abundant. You're Somebody here may actually be pregnant. This person may actually want to um, have children with you. Somebody here... Um, May actually be thinking about traveling too. You're able to birth new ideas as well. This person sees you. You may have changed a bit too since this person was with you as well. And this person sees your growth. Something's changed about you with this person. And they're seeing you in a different light from a different perspective. And they want to come towards you because they're being divinely pushed towards you. Something about you has this person's attention now. They probably weren't paying attention to it before. Why is the magician here? <laughs> yeah, see, this person wants to give to the situation. They're trying to bring everything together because they know that you're guarded against them. You looking at this person like, you know what, Inspector Gadget, I know you got some tricks under your sleeves or whatever. What are you up to? I'm not let, allowing you back into my space again until I make sure that everything that you're saying matches up with what you're doing. So at this point in time, somebody is not able to move forward with the situation. So this person is trying to manipulate the situation in their favor. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I don't know. I do know that this person knows you very well and knows what you want. However, you kind of shock this person with something that you've done or a change that you've made. So this person is trying to bring some things that they were lacking together so that they can give to the situation and they want to show you, but you're not trying to see this. At least not yet. You're inspecting the hell out of it. You're kind of side-eyeing it. Like, 
Let me shine some light on this situation. Let me see what you what you're working with. You know what I'm saying? So this person can only do so much. Let's see, why is the five of wands here? Yeah, see, you're looking forward to something else. This person sees that you don't really have, they don't have your attention like they used to. You've grown, you've elevated here. Not only that, a lot of you, like I said, you might be traveling with this world here, and then you have the two of wands here. You have other options. This may be this person here, and this may be a whole new world opened up to you as far as people, places, things, you know, new relationships, new endeavors, whatever it is, you possibly doing something with your money or whatever, learning, growing, whatever it is, you know, you're manifesting new things, going after things that are passionate for you. You know, taking your life by the reins and moving forward. And this person is like, oh, shit. And the more that you do, the more abundant that you are in all areas of your life. And that means love, too. So somebody else is on your heels and this person knows you're looking elsewhere. There's competition. Hmm. Why is the two of wands in reverse? See, yeah, something happened here unexpected with this person. There's a tower. This, whatever this tower is, this somebody slapped this person upside the head. The divine said, hey, you better get it together. You better get it together. Because if not, your person, Aquarius, is out of here. So your person is trying to do some work here because they're trying to do internal work also with themselves, trying to fix themselves with this magician here. Really? Because they see you as a star. I'm telling you, it started off as a star. Hmm. This person realizes who you are and they're trying to come towards you. Okay. A little reckless, but they're trying to get it together. You know, this person is very passionate about you. They have a lot, a lot, a lot of love for you. This person has taken some time to really think about this. Bring it together. The divine has helped him. Help them help me bring it together because I'm about to lose Aquarius. If you don't help me divine, it's gone forever. Okay, I need to make this grow. So they're probably going to come in offering you something. You know, yes. Can we start off slow? Can, can we try this again? You know, I mean, I know that we didn't, you know, hit it off the first time I was playing around. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to, but I'm willing to step up my game because I see who you are. That's wifey right there. Husband, whatever. Somebody wants to drop the burdens from the things that happened in the past with you guys and move forward because they feel like there's a divine connection here. Okay, this person feels like they were guided to come back and repair this. Like I said, you see this behind this person? Yeah. That's, that's that guardian, like, thumping them on the back of the head. Go make this right. Even if you have to apologize, you better go and say what you got to say. Because Aquarius is like, you know what? What? I'm out of here. I have no time for this foolishness. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, it's early, y'all. Give me a break, right? My coffee is starting to kick in. All right, two of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups. This person is trying to get it together. Like I said, they're trying to balance it out, okay? I need to get in there. I need to tell Aquarius that I love them. Not only tell them that I love them, but, you know, show them that I mean business, okay? We got to bring the flowers. We got to, we got to step up our A game, you know, because what I was given before... Aquarius is not having that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I got to step up my A game and really, really bring this in. And it's funny because a person is coming in right now as a knight, you know what I'm saying? Taking action, you know, but this person wants to step up to that king because they see another king stepping up to you. They know that you are being recognized. You are being watched. Other people see you. And you are going to be celebrated, okay? So they better, they would want to come in. You literally have an audience of people watching you, looking and seeing what you're doing. If this person can see you shining, trust me, other people can see. If other people see, if this person sees you as an empress, 
And this is somebody that was devaluing you. You know what I mean? Not seeing your worth. If this person sees your elevation, your ascension, your glow up, call it whatever you want to. Maybe this was always you. Maybe this person was so self-centered, it kind of dimmed your light and they didn't really see until somebody else stepped up and was like, oh, shit, a diamond in the rough. Where have you been hiding? Now this person sees you. They know if they see you, other people see you shining too. So, yeah, look, I'm just saying, what is it? So it's like some of you actually will have your pick of who you want, what you want, jobs, locations, homes, or whatever. You're manifesting good things in your life. And this person sees you manifesting things. So they ain't ready to try the manifestations too. And they're trying to manifest you. Okay? So, mm, yeah, see, this is interesting. Really, really interesting. Because I was getting ready to clarify the Six of Wands, right? To see what this person is, this victory, this outcome, this wanting everybody to see you on their arm is, right? You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse land on top of your Two of Wands. You're not trying to go anywhere with this person. It has alt, auto stopped in your tracks, dead. You're not even looking in this person's direction. You feel me? You are out the window, daydreaming, looking upon what can be, you know, making plans to do something else. Okay. Since you didn't want to work out. I know that there's other people out there, other opportunities out there for me. And hey, you know what? Once I release this information and this person right here, this energy, this vibe, look at all these things that start coming towards me. You know, so I think I'm about to take a leap of faith in a new direction, you know, leave old things behind and not even move forward towards that. And, you know, keep pushing with my life. And it will be successful in spite of. OK, so we have some lessons learned here. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, again, you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, fall on top of your Nine of Wands. You're guarded. You're not trying to, to deal with this person at all. You know that there's no growth here, okay? So where this person has all this ego, all this pride, wanting that everybody to see you on their arm, and this person won you back after, you know, not giving, being imbalanced, you know, indecisive, not wanting to commit, doing whatever this person was doing in the past, this person is about to see you win-win in another situation and eventually in a connection with someone else. They're not getting ready to get the glory for this. Not like they thought they were going to. They need to heal first, come in with some apology and some act right and do what they need to do. Put in the work, balance it out. You know what I'm saying? Put some thought into this, some prayer into it and do what they need to do because Somebody's in ego right here. I got to win at all costs. There's competition here. This is a person who likes the competition. Wow. There's been competition with this person before with other people in your life, but this person didn't feel like they were really a threat. Whoever's stepping up now is a real threat, not only because this person is stepping in with a little bit more confidence, whatever this new person he has that you're dealing with, it's because you're guarded. You're not really looking at the, to let this person back in like you normally would. So there's some type of panic, a panic here, but they're being pushed to come towards you. They may have to work for this. Why is it two of cups here? What did I say? Eight of Swords. This person is stuck. They're going to have to work for this because you might, you might just, wow. Yeah, because you might decide not to even deal with this person for a while. You might decide to go with this new person. And it kind of looks like it. And this person's going to end up watching. Watching, stalking, sitting on the sidelines. Out in the cold. But they did it to themselves. They put themselves in here. 
They're going to come in talking fast, too. Real fast. <laughs> Wanting new beginnings. Be careful with this person because they are not above sabotaging things, saying things to this new person because they're holding on to you. This person is deceptive. Be careful. Be careful with this person. I think you're basically more focused on manifesting things in your life. Like I said, going towards things that make you happy. Somebody is really angry here, and it's a trip because they're the ones that screwed up. They screwed up. Yeah, see, this person is seeing you move in a new direction. Positive, remaining positive. You're probably posting positive things. This person is missing the hell out of you. Yeah, they really are irritated. This person. <laughs> This person is looking on your online. They're possibly seeing pictures of you, you know, posting pictures of memes and all kind of things. They're irritated as hell. They've probably been trying to reach out to you. You're kind of ignoring this person because somebody else has got your attention. They're feeling unwanted at this time. And that's a no-no. Oh, you're dealing with somebody with a very large ego. Satisfied. I think you're pretty happy with what's going on in your life right now. You know, positive change, positive mindset. You're starting to manifest positive things, positive people into your life. It's working good. You're feeling inspired right about now. This person is very possessive over you. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. You are withdrawing your energy from this person. That's what it is. And they're pretty pissed somebody else is filling on you digging on you crushing on you very hopeful that this will move on forward to something serious your person that's coming back is not happy not happy the truth will set you free <laughs> so this person feels like if they release whatever they need to say to you you know pour out their heart to you you know um Promising that they won't make any more bad decisions and everything that, you know, this, this will win you back for sure. But I think this is something that this person has possibly said to you before. And, uh, yeah, I don't think you're hearing it because this new person is like really, really somebody's piqued your interest and karma is at work here, ready to surrender. I think karma is stepped in the divine. Oh, yeah, if this person wants this back, they're going to have to work, and that's if they get it back. Maybe this is this person's karma. The divine stepped in and allowed this person to see, to see the changes in your life. Trying to get them to change how they treat people, value relationships, value you in relationships. There's no telling if this will come back together because, yeah, that's why the divine is actually on this person's behind. Trying to force them to grow. Look at it. This is a lesson here. See what you lost by acting silly? It's time to grow up now. Put away childish things. Wow. Wow. Okay, this person feels like this is a true love story. You guys will never end. They don't care who comes in the way. This is one of the reasons why this, this person has ego. Damn. Okay, what did I say? Karmic lessons here. Okay, the, yes, the divine is working with this person here. Karma is at work. Yes, see, the divine is making this person be still. Watch you move on to someone else. There, If this is your divine counterpart, yeah, you will come back together later on after this person goes through whatever karmic lessons they need to grow, go through and grow through and possibly ascend through this. There is a possibility that... Um, yeah, this is a season in your life that, yeah, this person needed to ascend to another level and their karmic lesson is to watch you walk away and be happy. And hopefully they'll treat people differently. You know what I mean? I don't know, but the divine is making this person see this. That's part of their karma. Wow. And then it says rest and recovery before restart. This person is being paid very patient on the sidelines, thinking about a lot of things, getting a lot of things together, trying to grow. 
especially emotionally when it comes to how and how to show love and how to appreciate love and what love is you understand there was a great loss here time's up and it took too long oh my god so yeah this person may be worried that they waited too long to get their stuff together um aquarius maybe it could be that they did wait too long to get their stuff together and you're like you know what no sir no ma'am this is done um over it let's see wet dreams somebody is very somebody's missing you a lot they know that you're still angry with them. This person is letting go of third parties, whatever was holding them back. Um, friendships, toxic relationships, whatever was um, hindering this relationship with you. This person wants to walk away from that. Okay, because they're missing you. They're trying to get it together. They want to show you that they've changed. When they come towards you, they don't want to just come towards you spitting game or whatever like they used to. They want to be able to step up and show you that they're worthy to be on your side because they know that the star, the empress, does not want or need a peasant on their side of page, okay? You bringing in emperors and kings, and they need to step up the game. And like I said, this person, when they go to sleep, when they wake up, you are on the brain and on everything else. You know, they're missing you. All right, time. Waiting for the right time, impatient and antsy. So, yeah, somebody is tired of waiting to come in and say what they need to say. Let's say, let's see. They're getting tired of waiting. I get, why are you playing? <laughs> why are you playing? Why, why are you doing me like this? Yeah, somebody used to have some inner child issues that they had to deal with. Abandonment, codependency. You probably got a little bit of narcissism going on here from what I can kind of tell with this ego going on with this person you retreated from this person went on moved on with your life took your energy back and this is driving this person crazy okay they're not used to this for you from you because you probably put this person on a pedestal and you know put this person first and now you're like you know what i think not guess what not only am I putting myself first, I got somebody else that wants to put me first too. And I'm digging that. I'm liking it. We're giving equal exchange. Why should I settle for less? Let me check out what's over here first. Now I might get back to you, okay? This person's not liking that. All right. Like I said, inner childhood issues. There's a lot of passion for this person. This person, like I said, those wet dreams, yeah. You do it for this person. You, this person is turned on by you. There is some type of third party competition going on here. Like I told you, somebody is not happy that you have moved on to someone else and they are watching it. OK, and remember, I told you this person is just as equal. OK, this person thought that you would never find a king or a queen just like them. But guess what? Okay, at one point in time, yeah, you were really feeling this person, wanting to walk down the aisle with this person, but this person wasn't acting right. So guess what? Somebody else stepped up and now they have your attention. Your person is not happy at all. And you got passion going on and you giving the cookie or the, or the, or the, or the, or the wine to somebody else. Oh, they're really not happy and they're ready to speak out about this okay really go extroverted if this person was not telling you how they felt before when they come to a you yeah you're gonna be like oh my god where did all this come from why didn't you say this two or three years ago why didn't you act right two or three years ago because sometimes the divine has to thump somebody upside the back of the head so they'll realize what they've lost okay this person wants to make you a priority right now this person feels that that you are their family. They can have growth with you, you know, and they want to put you first now. And they're watching, watching everything, everything, everything. All right, let's get one more message here. And then I'm going to let y'all go because, yeah, I've been here for a minute. All right, Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Um, I don't know if this is a Twin Flame. Usually a Twin Flame does not put you through all kinds of hurt, pain, and all of that. There are some karmic lessons there, but not the cheating, the lying, the stealing, or whatever. This is more like a karmic here, okay? Maybe this person feels like you're their twin flame. However, they want to get it together, and it says play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. 
Um, I think that's what you're doing with this other person. I think this is what this person wants to do with you. They possibly are on your social media, seeing that you are having fun with somebody else and you're healing old wounds and childhood issues needing to be revisited with this person. But I think this person is also seeing that you're healing, you're moving on and having fun with someone else. And like I said, um, this says healing old wounds and childhood issues needing to be revisited. Somebody here has some issues here that they need to deal with and they need to get over this ego because this ego is tearing down relationships in their life. All right. And it says unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. So, um, yeah, Aquarius, maybe this is you. A warning about this person. Um, this person has some issues that they need to deal with. They're kind of closed off, not wanting to commit. They have some childhood wounds that need to be healed. And I don't know. This person is trying to give it an effort to get you back. However, um, yeah, I don't know how much changing this person is going to do. So you might want to look at that and, you know, use your discernment, you know. So warning, don't dismiss the red flags here all right so danger will robinson there's something going on here that you're not seeing so if you deal with this person again even this new person just be patient and uh see what unfolds if you notice any red flags that happened in the past then uh yeah run okay all right but that's what i have for you bye